do you need in your goat medicine cabinet? I don't know, Daniel. How about you show me? Well, cool beans, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So, I'm self-filming today, so you, the camera won't be zooming in and out. I'll just bring the objects to you closer for you to see. So, with goat raising especially, you need so many products to keep your goats healthy. You need antibiotics, different shots, you need um, materials to be able to do fecal tests. You need everything. So today, I'm going to walk you through all that. Let's get started. First things first, let's start at the dewormers. Because you you know goats need to be dewormed a lot. You need to have strong, good working dewormers. So let's start there. First and foremost, the best dewormer for goats, Cydectin. Technically, it's an oral dewormer for sheep but you can use it for goats. My vet, who's very good with goats, recommends tripling the dosage of this. Otherwise, it really won't have enough effect on them because goat worms are so strong. They're, the worms live in the goat's digestive system so much better than a sheep. So here is a cydectin. I hope you can see that. It, this is a, um, I believe, one liter um, bottle. This is, I think, around a hundred bucks. It's very expensive, but this is lasting me over, well over a year already, and there's still about a third of it left. And I have ten-ish goats, so this can last you a little while. My second dewormer, and really the only other dewormer I use, is called Valbazin, right here. And this is actually labeled for goats. And let me pause here for a second. Nothing is labeled for goats, like barely anything. Nothing gets labeled for goats because they're not researched animals. They're, they're not a high profit animal. They don't get researched. They don't make medications for them. But this one actually is, which is cool. I use this to treat for tapeworms. This is the best um, deworm to treat for tapeworms. You do have to be careful with it because sometimes you don't want to give it to pregnant does. Um, but that that's not what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm just showing you what I have. So these are the two dewormers, Valbazin and Cydectin. Okay, moving on to the products I use for kids. I've got Kid Colostrum Supplement right here. Must have, if you don't, it, it's better to have your own colostrum frozen from a real goat, but if nothing else, you need to have the supplement. Little teats to go on a bottle. So a, uh, a bottle and a nipple. You're going to need that in case you have a bottle, baby. And scalpels. I have these scalpels right here. I use these to um, cut the goat's ear if they're folded horizontally. If they're folded vertically, it's a genetic disorder and you don't want to cut it. But I use these to, for anything, I needed a disposable sterile scalpel for, but especially for the babies when I need to slice those ears to fold them down again. Okay, so. Now I'm going to move on to all the vaccines. Starting with this antibiotic, Biomycin. This is a non-sting antibiotic right here. And it works really well as a general purpose antibiotic. It's a good thing to have on hand. This used to be over the counter. And I bought this about a week ago over the counter. But now new federal law says this has to be prescription. So you can't get it anymore. But it is a still a good thing to have on hand. But honestly... If you're going to the vet already and you have like a goat with pneumonia or something, I'd get a stronger um, antibiotic. Right here, I have B vitamins, injectable B vitamins. This is, this is good to promote the goat's immune system and help them get through any sickness. So this is a must-have. I have, of course, your syringes and needles. I have... 20 gauge and 18 gauge on hand right now. You always need syringes and needles on hand. And now let's get into some of the oral supplements uh, that you need in case you have a goat with pregnancy toxemia, which a video is coming on that in a little bit. Or any other thing, any boost, jump start for a baby goat, Nutri-Drench. And of course I dropped it, but Nutri-Drench right here. Get a big bottle. You're going to go through it quickly if you have a goat pregnancy toxemia or a goat that needs it for multiple days. This is good stuff. Dine. 
this is a super high calorie supplement, really rich. This is awesome stuff to give to any goat whenever they're off a little bit. Both Nutrigen and Don, they won't save your goat if they're dying, but they're definitely good boosters for them. Right here I have Red Cell. This is an iron rich supplement. I give it to any goat who's a, that's anemic. Right here, I have CMPK oral gel calcium supplement for any doe who has calcium deficiency or any, any animal. And right here, I have Tums, calcium carbonate Tums. These are a good way to give small amounts of calcium to your goats. I gave this to a pregnant doe last season who I was worried had a calcium deficiency, and it seemed to help her, so this is good if you don't have anything else on hand. Good to keep calcium carbonate tums around and right here the most important product for a goat with pregnancy toxemia propylene glycol and propylene glycol gets a hard time there it gets a hard rap they people say well it's so close in in chemic like composition that to antifreeze I'm not gonna give it to my goat but honestly this is the only thing that will save your dough if she has pregnancy toxemia and she's off her feed. So this, you need to have it on hand. I also have right here, this is Peptabismol. This is good to help with any upset stomach or anything. One thing I don't have here that is in my pantry is pumpkin puree and that's go good to give to any goat with diarrhea. It won't cure like the disease or whatever that's causing the diarrhea but it will reduce the symptoms and because high in fiber okay so now we're going to move on to um some birthing things pro lube this is just any lubricating gel good to have on hand for a doe that has having rough kidding and you need to help her out this right actually we'll do this ketone strips to tell if your doe is ketonic and she does have pregnancy toxemia um, you need to have this on hand if I had this on hand the last couple kings I could have lost a le lot less goat goats so the, you need these they come in this little bottle you just test it with your goat's um, urine and it will tell you if they're ketonic this is a lifesaver Right here, this is just some iodine to dip on the newborn kid's navels. And then, actually I should have put this earlier. We got some probiotics. This is a good probiotic to give to any goat um, whenever they need it, especially if they have a bad sickness where they're not eating much anymore. So probiotics is a good one to have. And Corid. Corid, I wish I had a better medication on hand to treat against coccidia. But if you don't have anything else, cord is a good thing to have to treat against coccidia. You need to give this, um, mix it properly, and give it for five days to each goat that needs it orally. And you also have to treat with your injectable B vitamins because this is a B vitamin inhibitor. That's how the cord kills the coccidia. So and you got to give the goat also B vitamins to make sure they don't have a B vitamin deficiency. Um, right here we've got some copper bolsters. I've never had to use these, but they're good to have on hand. And right here is another vaccine. I'll get back into vaccines here. This is Banamine. A beautiful, wonderful vaccine that literally saved my goat's life a few weeks ago when he had really bad pneumonia. This stuff reduces their pain, so it just makes them feel better. It reduces fever. So any goat that is really not doing well, Banamine. It is a prescription. You have to go to your vet to get it. Um, my vet gave me this whole bottle to keep on hand. It is really awesome. I'll show it to you up close. This is what this one looks like right there. So, and forgive me if I'm not zooming in enough on all these things, but it's hard to film with just one person, and hopefully with the names, you'll be able to search them up if you need them. A couple other things um, I like to keep on hand. Pink eye saline. 
like solution to put in human pink eye. I found putting this in any eye injury for a goat um, helps them heal faster. And then blue coat, this is a germicide, fungicide. Um, I put this on any time that I accidentally cut their hooves too deep and starts bleeding. I spray this on the bottom of their hoof and they get better very quickly. It says you can use this as an antiseptic, protective wound dressing, kills ringworm and fungus infections. Good thing spray on to have on hand. And so now I'm going to go into the fecal. How to do fecal tests. What do you need for that? First and foremost, you need your fecal solution. Um, this is like a saline solution, so you can get the, you can make this yourself if you want to, but just having it pre-mixed in the bright solution makes the fecal tests a lot more consistent, and I believe this is really helpful to, it just makes it a lot faster. So, right there, and then, I suppose actually the very most important thing is your McMaster slide. I have it in this case here. I'll show it to you. And yes, I did attempt to cut off my thumb yesterday. Thankfully, I was not successful. Um, but yeah, my thumb's now injured. So anyway, this is McMaster slide. It has two different chambers here with lines down it so you can uh, do fecal egg counts um, accurately. Right here. I believe this is 20-ish dollars maybe. Not too expensive, but a must-have to do your own um, fecal tests. Of course, you're going to also need a microscope, but that's not really a medication or anything, so um, I'm going to leave that up. And this isn't really a medication either, but you need a strainer, um, different cups and things to do fecal tests, which I'll explain in another video. So now, let's go to the fridge and get some of my medications that you have to keep cold. Alright folks, these are my three refrigerated vaccines that I have on hand now. This is penicillin. Okay, your most basic general antibiotic penicillin. This is a uh, vaccine that needs to be refrigerated. This is another vaccine that used to be over the counter, is now prescription. So, really unfortunate, but I just got this as well, and good thing to have on hand. I've used um, penicillin for any gut with an injury, leg injury or anything, helps to clear up that. Not necessarily the best for pneumonia and respiratory diseases, but also good antibiotic to have on hand if your biomycin isn't working. And right here I have two vaccines made by Colorado Serum Company. This is CDT vaccine. Your most basic vaccine that you give to pretty much every single goat um, protects against enterotoxemia, which is an overeating disease, and also protects against tetanus. So I give this to every kid twice um, before I sell them, and I give it to the adults once a year. And then this right here. If you can say this whole name without taking a breath, um, yeah, you're awesome. Because I can't. This is a crazy long name. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but this is a vaccine against pneumonia and all respiratory diseases, or most of them. My vet recommended give the, to give this to my herd, so I have been doing that, and this is another good one to have. Do your goats have lice? I bet they do. Be honest, especially in the winter. Goat lice is a problem most goat raisers have. Now I'm going to let you in on one of the biggest secrets I know. Mineral oil. This stuff takes care of lice. Stop using chemical treatments and everything to get rid of those pesky little bloodsuckers. Mineral oil works the best. The only downside to it is when you put it on the goat, you put a lot on. You just you just pour the whole bottle on them, essentially. It makes them really dirty looking because the oil then sticks to, the, to dirt and it makes them really dirty looking. But it takes care of the lice, I'll tell you that much. The way it works is it goes onto the skin, and because it's an oil, it spreads out everywhere and essentially drowns the lice. It works wonders, and I'm glad that my mom pointed out that this might work because it does. So use mineral oil, people. Another couple things that I just went out to the barn to get that were in there that weren't in my medicine cabinet in the house is hydrogen peroxide antiseptic spray, which is good for any minor, minor cut or injury, and... 
ammonium chloride. This stuff is great for prevention and even sometimes treatment of urinary calculi in male goats. I put it in my um, um, young bucklings water and you can even put it in their feed if the goats will eat it. Um, but this stuff is great to have. Let's go through this all again. The dewormers. Cydectin. Cord for coccidia. Valbazin for tapeworms. And cydectin, by the way, is for butterfly worms, homogenous contortus, biggest goat killer in the world. Yeah. Red cell for anemic goats. Mineral oil for those pesky, pesky lice. And then we've got ammonium chloride. We've got Pepto Bismol, pink eye relief, copper, CMPK, calcium, probios. We also have these tums for calcium. Iron. I mean iodine, ketone strips, lubricant, Nutri-Drench, goat bottle and nipples, colostrum supplement. Over here we've got our B vitamin injectable, biomycin, right there, penicillin. We've got our pneumonia vaccine and CDT. Also, banamine. Over here we've got our blue coat, hydrogen peroxide, different sizes of needles. Lurelox syringes and scapels. And then finally, down here we've got our propylene glycol, our fecal solution, and dine. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. I really do. I know it took me years to make this assortment of medications. And I hope that if you're just getting into goats or you've had them for a little while and you're still losing goats and you don't know what medications you really do need to have on hand, this is a good place to start. Even though it does seem like a ton of stuff, I mean, and it kind of is, and it takes a little while to build it up. Let me tell you, when you have this much medication on hand, you're going to be able to save more goats. You're not going to be able to save them all, but you're going to be able to save more. So, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing, and see you guys on the next one.